Well, John, it's been quite the journey from Brentwood last Sunday to Wuhan now. Given everything you've been through over the week to try and get here and to compete in this, how highly would you rate the triumph tonight? Oh, extremely good. Uh, from where I was at the start of the tournament, I was just kind of just turned up and just hoping for the best. And the first day kind of surprised me because I did play pretty good. Um, and with that, maybe comes a little bit of expectation. But I think the first few rounds, and especially the game against Barry, gave me a bit of confidence. I knew that's always a tough game to get through. And whenever I beat him, I, I normally seem to win the tournament. So I've done it again this time. But um, yeah, it was. It was tricky. Uh, went obviously went four one up, and a few things went against me. Then a couple of flukes, and kind of the game turned around a little bit. But tonight, I think I was a lot more fluent. The frames were a little bit quicker at the start, and it was tricky because the, a lot of the frames were going scrappy. The balls were going safe, but just managed to just try and dig in, and I scored a lot heavier tonight. Yeah, I mean, Ali's a tenacious competitor, isn't he? He's never going to make it easy for you, and it, it was a tough, tough battle today, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's never easy in a final. Um, it's, always, it's always difficult. So I just tried my best at, at all times and um, just tried to dig in and try and match him on the safety. I know you always like to have kind of little targets or achievements that, to go for in your mind. Did the challenge of trying to come from Brentwood last week and come back over here, it's a very difficult thing to do to do that and win, but was that something that inspired you this week? Uh, not really. I, I just I didn't really give myself much of a chance, but I was so relieved to have won the title last week that it was kind of just a bit of a free for all. Just no matter what happened after getting that title, it didn't. Nothing really mattered. Um, it's not until maybe you get to the semi-final stage, down to one table, that you really want to win again. So obviously, when you get to the final, you never want to be on the losing end. And I think my, my record in finals over maybe the past five or ten has not been as good as it was before so it was always nice to, to get the win against um, Zhang and, and and now again um, against Ali so it's always nice to get to the final and win them it, you just feel like it gives you just that little bit more momentum yeah I mean obviously last season you won the Masters and by most people's book that is a, a brilliant season regardless of what else happens but you had had that little kind of ranking title drought to have ended it last week so emphatically and then now won this how high is your confidence now and how much as you say of a relief is it to be back in the winner's circle in that regard yeah I, it was extremely high at the start of the season I felt like I was playing really well in practice and took that into the, the European Masters and just fell short against Barry who was playing extremely well so I knew the form was there it's just about having that bit of luck at the right times, which I don't feel like has been happening. Uh, and then it, obviously your confidence gets knocked and, and you don't win. So it's just been, uh, I feel like every season starts again and fresh is, is so different from the season before. And this season has been completely different than, than last season. Got off to an extremely good good start. It's, it's probably as good as I've um, ever started a season. So I've already been in three finals, one, two. No matter what happens now, it's just, just a bonus. Now, when you're doing well, you're constantly busy. Uh, if you lose early on, that maybe I did in the British Open, then you've always got a tournament just around the corner, so it's good. It's going to be, I'd like to have a couple of days off and regroup, but that's, that's not what's going to happen. So hopefully I can just kind of ease over the next few days, get back and, and to be honest, it doesn't really matter what happens there. Um, then straight after there's another big event back in China. So there's so much snooker to play in this season. It's, it's nice for everyone to feel like you're full time again. But I suppose you were clearly inspired by the crowd here this week and, and what they gave you. And you've obviously been inspired by the crowd in Belfast in the past. It, it's, a, it's a great venue there, isn't it? So I suppose it, if anything, that could kind of act as a bit of a catalyst for you. Yeah, I, I think this, the, this could possibly be the, the best venue in China. I think the, the way the, the arena was set up, the amount of people that were in there, very inspiring place to play snooker. So sometimes in the past, the arena has been maybe a little bit too big and, and feel a bit empty, but there was a lot of people in there and, and that spurred me on. And I'm definitely someone that likes to play in front of the big crowds, same was in Belfast. And, and that's what brings the best out of me.